Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you stopped in. I haven't been on for a couple of days. Um, just kind of taking it easy and uh, getting some stuff lined up here that I wanted to portray. But uh, this one is just going to be a talk video for me for now. Then I will uh, get back on later and uh, do more videos. But um, I just left a channel of one that I go to regularly here on YouTube and uh, the news is is really disturbing and uh, this uh, YouTuber does his homework I mean you know probably um, who he is because you've probably been to his channel too and uh, him and his wife and family um, they do food commercials also once in a while and uh, he advertises a lot of other companies and everything. Now, I would mention his channel. Uh, I don't know why I would get in trouble, but I'm still new here, remember? I ain't even been here two months yet. So, I'm kind of being cautious and careful. There seems to be this group that for the longest time... Now, I don't want to say maybe at the beginning of Google, when Google started, I, I, that's something I want to be very interested in and in looking up in my spare time. But they seem to want to control each and every one of us. Yeah, this made-up group um, is going to see that we can't be free anymore without having paper stating that we've had the jab we can't go anywhere in public unless we show papers that we've had the jab can't go to a restaurant can't go to a grocery store clothing store any store without showing the papers I'm vaccinated now, if this is so critical that everybody's got to carry a paper to state that they have been vaccinated, then what are they hiding behind this? That it has to be that each and every one of us, every walking human being, because they kept tabs on us. They know who's been vaccinated, maybe, who ain't been vaccinated they got our information they got our names probably our locations come on now and another uh, interesting fact something about Google tracing everything we do well I've already read about that a long long time ago but it was just lightly talked about. I didn't pay attention to it. Probably like a lot of us. You know, we love Google. We do our videos on Google. We watch what we want to watch on Google, just like a TV set. I don't use my TV set. I got a brand new one sitting in my bedroom. I don't use it because I have Google. I'm not so sure I want Google anymore. And I've heard a lot of people, read a lot of people, what their statements are, all over the joint, no matter what, what do I want to say, um, that you've got, you know. Uh, I can't think of the word right now. I'm so upset over what I heard. But I know that this YouTuber speaks the truth. He's read it. He has seen it. He's heard it. Browser. That's what I want. No matter what browser you got, it don't matter. Because if Google's got you down, how soon is it going to spread to the other browsers? And I wondered why people were leaving Google. Because I have another browser. You need at least one, two, three browsers. I could have more if I wanted to. 
but I don't. I get by just fine the way I am. But we're trapped. What it came down to, even now, and how many years has this been going on behind our backs? That we knew nothing about this group that has formed. That is going to be taken away our independence. They're going to tell you what you can watch on YouTube. What you can't watch on YouTube. They're going to take programs away that you probably love to watch. They're in control, they say. And it's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. Now you have to stop and think, well, God, are they going to come around and knock on my door? Well, how do we know they're not? I mean, he was so full of information that he had uh, read and seen and heard by a lady... Uh, even speaking out, reading what she said. They're going to control the whole United States. Are they going to con move on to other countries, or are the other countries already infected with people like this? Well, then why don't they go to Russia and help Putin out? Bring some sense to his head to stop all this childish behavior threatening everybody in the whole universe and bring peace which we need and my question was why wasn't this group stopped before they got this far to where they've tagged us all we're all tagged I don't get it I don't want to get it now, if Google's going to be involved in this, and they're going to take away our freedom, that's not going to work. That won't work. No. But you know the younger group now that are coming into computers, even at a very, very young age, there's little three-year-olds can do more on a computer than I ever thought of. Can you believe that? Well, you better. It could be your grandchild. <laughs> your great-grandchild. Oh, yes. They know a lot more. And cell phones? They can run all over them cell phones and do things I never thought of doing. I'm just lucky I can make a phone call. <laughs> you know? So they're going to get all this stuff drove into these young people's heads and they'll, before long, they'll be controlling the older people, the middle-aged people. I can't understand why something wasn't done about this when it was first learned about or hint about. Something should have been done to stop this menagerie of trying to control everybody. That's ridiculous. I... I don't know what to say anymore. It's unbelievable. And I never thought Google would even lean towards such a thing. How did Google get trapped in all this crap? And that's what it is. Just plain ass, stinky ass crap. Next question. Are we still free? Do we still have our freedom? Wars all around us. We're being controlled by what we do on the computer now. But they'll show all these killings. They don't show the good stuff. Very seldom, these groups that want to control everybody, they don't show the peacefulness, the love of each other, the understanding of each other, sympathy, condolences for the loved ones we've lost, that we've become friends with on, on these channels. They don't show that. They want to show war and blood. 
murder, kidnapping, raping children, all that crap. But they want to take away the good stuff. Pretty soon, I don't think, hey, you know, and I don't know how many times I've heard this, growing up even. There is no hell. You're living it right here on earth. How many times have you heard that? Leave me a comment. Thank you for coming to my channel. I just don't know what to think anymore about anything. Except to maybe say how I wished I could be younger and living in the 50s and 60s and 70s. But then I stop and think well, the way things are going right now. They're trying to strip us of our freedom. No matter what they got to do to do it. Making us take medicines, putting in our bodies we don't want. Taking away our programs that we love to watch. That are good programs. And putting up some hellish other shit. I I'm just... I'm beside myself. But this YouTuber knows what he's doing. He's got an awesome channel. I'll just say Stephen. Go watch it. If you haven't seen him yet. Go watch his channel. And just look for Stephen G. That's all I'm going to say. Because I don't want to get in trouble. Because I'm not sure that uh, I can tell other people about other channels. But it's it, the channels are public. But I read somewhere that... Uh, you have to get permission for this and you got to get permission for that. And I'm just not sure what all those permissions are for yet. But uh, you need to go watch Stephen G. channel. Mm -hmm. And he's also got a program, Sign Up. They're giving away some uh, money. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say. Well, I'm going to say goodbye for now. But I'll be back later. God bless. Keep faith.